Classifying types of data, example five. Determine whether the given value is from a discrete or continuous data set. A research poll of 1,015 people shows that 752 of them have internet access at work. So the question here is whether the data is discrete or continuous. Well, when you look at groups of 1,015 people and you count up how many of them have internet access, what you want to try to remember is that discrete data usually is derived from counts and continuous data is usually derived from measurements. So the question here that you should first try to ask is, do we count how many people in this sample have internet access or do we measure them? I would say we count them, right? We count how many people said yes that they have internet access. So it sounds to me like the data set then is discrete. The other thing to think about is, um, is it possible to have any possible value between any two possible values? So what that means is, you know, 752 is, is okay. We could say there's 752 people that have internet access. And we could certainly say there's 753 people could have internet access, but you can't say there's 752.89 people who have internet access. That doesn't make sense. So because that doesn't make sense, that's also an indication that it's discrete because there are these gaps in between the numbers that you can't achieve. All right, now let's look at the next one. Josh Beckett's fastball was clocked at 98 miles per hour during the World Series. So when you think about this speed, first thing you want to think about again is that question, did you count up the miles per hour or did you measure it? If you measured it, it's probably continuous. And I think the way they get the miles per hour is by using a radar gun, a measuring device, to measure the speed of the baseball. So again, I would say that's most likely continuous then. And you can also see that it's continuous because it's certainly possible to have any fraction of a speed, right? You could have 98.3 miles an hour, 98.36 miles an hour, right? So that means that it's continuous. All right, let's look at this uh, number three. It says a student spent $86.53 on her calculator for class. Well, a lot of people look at this number and they think it's continuous because it does have decimals, but um, I would say this is kind of a gray area problem. Um, let's talk about two arguments. One, you could say, well, it's discrete because either you spend $86.53 on the calculator, or maybe you spend $86.54 on the calculator, but I certainly couldn't go up to the register and pay $86.53 and two-tenths of a penny, right? I'm not able to pay two-tenths of a penny in hard currency, which means that I'm limited to either pay $86.53 or say $86.54 or etc. In other words, I always have to pay to the nearest penny. So that means there are little tiny gaps. That's normally the mark of something that's discrete. Also, you can think about it, we count out money, hard currency, right? We don't measure money, we count it out. That's another sign that it would be discrete. Um, however, you know, some people might say this is virtually continuous, meaning that, you know, we have a pretty fine breakdown of the dollar, right, down to, you know, uh, one one hundredth, so you can, you know, get all the way down to a penny. But um, even though that's a pretty fine breakdown, I would still argue that it's discrete. But, you know, some people say, well, hey, it's, it's pretty close to being continuous. And there are cases where money is continuous. In the case where maybe you're dealing with a computer transaction, you're talking about um, accruing interest, you might have any fraction of a penny involved in those calculations. But when it comes out to paying hard currency, you'd actually have to pay to the nearest penny, and that would make it discrete in my opinion. So I would say this is kind of a gray area question, and uh, most professors probably steer away from it for a test question. So something like number two or number one is a better example of a test question. You know, something like this is very clearly continuous. This is very clearly discrete. This one, you know, some people could argue it's continuous, some people could argue it's discrete. I would say by our strict definition, um, we would say this is discrete.